A concert can sometimes be a dangerous place. These artists stop their shows to protect their fans. One singer in particular even scolded security guards for not doing their job. Who was it? Keep watching to find out. It was October 2018, during the last show of the Foo Fighters Concrete and Gold Tour in St. Paul, Minnesota. The band's frontman, Dave Grohl, stopped singing mid-note and guitar strum. That's because he spotted a 13-year-old boy in the audience named Owen Anderson having a difficult time. Billboard reported that the young man is blind and has autism, as well as Crohn's disease and developmental disabilities. Dave Grohl didn't keep playing. He immediately went into fix-it mode. Grohl said, does that kid need somewhere to sit? Give that kid a real seat. He then told security to take the kid's parents as well, telling the crowd that his show was a family occasion. Reportedly, Owen and his folks were allowed to take in the rest of the concert from the stage, and Grohl even let the young fan touch his guitar while he sang. Stacey Anderson, Owen's mother, took to Facebook after the show and expressed gratitude to the former Nirvana drummer. She also thanked everyone else involved who helped her boy have an experience that he'll probably forever hold on to. She wrote, Dave Grohl and all of the crew were incredibly kind to our family. That's how you help a fan in need. Before we get into how Linkin Park helped save a fan at one of their shows, let's define the term mosh pit, since it's relevant here. According to the good folks at Merriam-Webster, a mosh pit is an area in front of a stage where very physical and rough dancing takes place at a rock concert. Some may read that definition and think there's no etiquette to moshing, but the band Linkin Park proved that idea wrong during a show. A YouTube video uploader notes that the concert was at London's Docklands Arena in 2001. At one point while on stage, Band member Mike Shinoda saw a person in the audience who was in danger, so he stopped the show and spoke directly to the crowd. He stated, We got a little problem up here. Shinoda apologized for stopping the show after that and told everyone that safety is the band's first priority. From there, Bennington made sure that everyone got Shinoda's point by giving a quick call and response. Bennington asked, When someone falls, what do you do? The crowd responded, Pick them up. Tragically, Bennington took his own life in 2017, but his kind act will likely live on the internet forever. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255. It's not uncommon for people to faint at concerts. Think about it, folks standing next to each other, shoulder to shoulder, often for hours on end. Plus, there's the temperature, because one has to deal with a blazing sun at outside shows and stuffy hot concert lights during indoor performances. So when a 47-year-old woman lost consciousness at a 2017 Adele concert in Sydney, Australia, people near the woman thought she just fainted. However, it was later determined that she went into cardiac arrest, The Guardian reported. Adele asked, Sorry, can we stop? There's someone not well, and I'm a little bit worried because there's fireworks in this one, and I don't want to scare her. Is it okay to carry on? Eventually, paramedics made their way over to the woman and she was taken to a hospital. It was also said that Adele was, quote, visibly upset for the remainder of the concert after the incident, according to The Guardian, which demonstrated her level of concern. The English singer also helped a fan in London who fainted at a concert at the Hammersmith Apollo in 2011. Adele suddenly stopped her song and pointed to where the person was located, showing that her fan's safety was and remained super important to her. You know, and everyone needs a soundtrack. You know, every, every day of life needs a soundtrack. Kurt Cobain's songwriting ability has been praised before and after he took his own life in 1994. But he was also given a huge amount of credit for coming to a woman's defense at a 1993 Nirvana show in Oakland, California, after she was allegedly being groped. In a clip that was posted to YouTube, the late rock icon can be seen eyeing something in the crowd as he sings and strums his guitar. He then stopped playing put his instrument down and confronted the creepy individual who was committing a form of sexual assault from the sound of it. Now, everything Cobain said to the guy can't be heard, but let's say he put him in his place. The singer and his bandmates then let the crowd know what was going on and some band members began taunting and pointing at the man. It was also reported that Cobain had the guy kicked out, which hopefully allowed everyone else to sing along and crowd surf in peace. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673. There was one particular week in July 2018 when Florida's Lil Pump looked more like a medical worker than a rapper. That's because he helped two people at two different concerts, just days apart. His first rescue was at the UK's Wireless Festival after he noticed someone in the audience wasn't doing too well. He yelled into the microphone, Yo, paramedics, someone is having a seizure. 
Several people in the crowd then carried the man to security, who then took him away from the stage area. A bit later, Pump told the crowd the man was gonna be okay, which got a huge round of applause from the crowd. The rapper later went on Instagram stories and wrote, I'll never let none of my fans die at my show. I love y'all too much. But remember, the Gucci gang creator went right back to help a concert goer just days later after the first incident. The next show was indoors, and Pump was accompanied by fellow Florida rapper and friend Smoke Perp. Both artists asked to get the guy some water, with Smoke Perp handing him a bottle as he was being carried away. Clearly, if there was a Hero of the Week award in rap, Pump would have been giving an acceptance speech on that week in July. If you're ever at a Lady Gaga concert and someone makes you lose your pool, stay calm, count to 10, and avoid fighting at all costs. If not, you might get called out by the pop star herself in front of thousands. It happened to a couple of rowdy people who attended a Gaga show in Washington, D.C. in 2010. She demanded, stop fighting. Do not fight at this show. Is she okay? Are they both okay? I don't know who hit who. Then after apologizing to the crowd, the artist struck a fierce pose to resume her performance. But first, she had a little more to say. I just don't want you to fight. This is all about love and unity and happiness. No fighting. Fast forward seven years later and Gaga helped another fan during a show at the Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncastville, Connecticut. One woman was struck in the face, which Gaga quickly noticed. She said, Hi, I just looked over and I saw. Are you doing all right? Do you need a paramedic? They're on their way? Okay. Lady Gaga was sorry that her fan was bleeding from the hit. Later, the singer offered the woman a backstage pass after saying, What we all need to remember is that there are some things that are more important than show business. Say it again for the people in the back, Gaga. And everybody deserves love. Ohio rapper Trippy Red noticed that a woman passed out while he was on stage in Minneapolis in 2018. TMZ reported the incident and noted how quickly he reacted and took charge. In a clip that was released at the time, the artist can be heard telling the crowd to keep their phones lit so it would be easier for the ill person to get assistance. Red told the crowd after the music stopped, We got to worry about her right now. Sadly, it seemed that some people in the audience were more concerned with the performance stopping rather than the sick woman. Red then yelled at some in the crowd, telling them to pick the woman up and give her some water. Reportedly, he threw a bottle of water down himself, which helped revive the woman after she drank it. It's not every day that you see an artist come down on people for not assisting their fellow audience member who's in danger, but it's something more of them should do. When two people passed out at Logic's 2017 concert in Houston, the Maryland-raised rapper took quick command acting almost like a security guard instead of an artist. After the first person fainted, he instructed the crowd to part ways and told them to, quote, keep quiet. He then assured the concert goer that she'd be okay and told the audience how often people faint at his shows. But as he was saying that, another person fainted and Logic didn't hesitate. While showing the crowd what to do next, he explained, let's do the same thing. Somebody pick him up and everybody right here look at me. And I want you to spread like this. From there, Logic told the crowd to make sure they're feeling all right while watching the show. He also suggested they stay hydrated, saying no concert or performer is worth risking one's health. So not only did Logic jump into action to help two feigning fans, he gave them some useful advice for future shows. Now that's how you do it. Just a Little Bit of Your Heart was the song that Harry Styles was singing when a woman had a panic attack at his London show in 2017. Some might say it was the perfect song for him to be singing since he used some of his heart in a compassionate move to help her. Right away, the singer stopped the show and paid full attention to the woman. He then told the crowd to just chill and to give the woman some space. Styles was clearly calm during the incident, which probably made it easier for those in the audience to do the same. Security can be seen tending to the woman and eventually carrying her away from the crowd. But the former One Direction singer didn't just make sure that she was doing all right. He ensured that other audience members were feeling up to par as well. Styles also told people to step back slowly to make sure everyone near the stage had ample room to move and breathe. The woman, who's been called Annie in the press, tweeted about the incident and thanked the singer for his thoughtful act. She later wrote in a now-deleted tweet, That was one of the most horrendous panic attacks I've ever had. I'm so grateful to Harry for having such a pure heart and stopping the show to get security to help me. When things get unruly at a concert, some performers will chastise the crowd for behaving badly. But Billie Eilish gave security a tongue lashing. It happened when the 19-year-old was singing her song Happier Than Ever at New York City's Governor's Ball Music Festival in September 2021. Suddenly, she noticed the fight breaking out in the crowd and refused to stay silent. Eilish said into the microphone, Security, why aren't you paying attention? Like, for real? 
She also yelled out, quote, one job, implying that security failed to do the sole task they were hired for. The Los Angeles native then continued to sing and ask the crowd if they were all right, which seemed to show that she was still bothered by security allegedly being lax. Still, the moment didn't appear to ruin the show for the Lost Cause singer based on what she communicated the following day on Instagram. She wrote, Last night was one of my all-time favorites. Thank you, Govball. And because of her concern for the crowd that night, her fans probably thanked her right back. I go up there to like be better than my myself. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.